Hey dolls, if you want to see how I went from this to this, stay tuned for the getting ready with me. What's up? I am back with a new video today. I am doing a getting ready with me for date night. In fact, it's double date night. I figured it'd be really fun to just go ahead and throw the camera up and just share my look. It's Atlanta. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. If you don't know, you need to get familiar. Go ahead and follow me on my new Instagram page, which is at Chrissy the Doll. But I did partner today with We Here and Dream app. Those are apps you can actually download on your phone and that kind of gave me the vibe for my video today and for my date night because I am reading a story right now and it's really interesting y'all. I have always been an avid reader so I don't really have a lot of time to just sit down and flip through pages like I used to but I really enjoy this dream app because it makes me feel like I'm being more productive with my brain than just watching TV or something. I mean, whether you're on like, you know, a commute to work or if you're just bored at home, I mean, it gives you something to do. I really do love that they have a lot of different genres, but there is mystery, there's sci-fi, there's Western, there's paranormal, like anything that you guys could be into, they have these highly addicting stories. Some of these stories is like kind of crazy, but before you start reading, you do get a little snippet. So I felt that was helpful. So you didn't have to like, you know, get all the way into a story just to find out you're not into it. It's really cool that if any of you guys who are short story writers or trying to get into that, like blog writing, it's like a community on the Dream app. So in essence, those people whose stories you are reading, you can actually support them directly by purchasing their chapters and more of their books. If you dolls are interested in that, I will definitely put a link down below and find coupon codes for you. So I am reading on the Dream app a story called The Surprise Mate. So the long story short, there is a main character named Holly and she's like a good girl. She kind of has been doing things on her own for a very long time. She was at work one day. She met this guy. She was kind of taken aback because he was like really um, handsome and all this other stuff. He ended up like wooing her, they ended up having relations, and she had a one night stand. That's the backstory. She ended up getting pregnant by a guy, they didn't want to have anything to do with the baby, and you know, she met a new guy, and I haven't completely finished the story yet, so I'm still into it, but as far as the vibe for tonight, there's a point where she went on a date, and the way that she described herself, I was feeling. She had on like a silky blue dress, she was kind of serving sexy. She is a curvy, voluptuous woman. So I was like, you know what? That is me. I'm going to do something like that. Now, there are so many different books in there that I would actually recommend for you guys. If there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. In fact, there's new books and new stories added daily. So you have options. Bring out some of the most popular ones you will see on the top. So the ones that I see a lot um, and I would recommend is The Silent Alpha, My Surprise Mate. That's the one that I am reading right now and The Perfect Luna. So that is for the Dream app. This app, again, is where you're going to be reading everything and um, it's not audio. If you're more of an audio person, you want to not have to hold the phone and scroll, things like that, I will recommend the We Hear app. The most popular books on that one is kind of more paranormal sci-fi and I wasn't really into it. But if that's your jam, like if you love Twilight, I recommend for you to go ahead in here and check out The Human in the Wolf Pack, The Unloved Mate, and Their Curse. So in both apps, they're really simple to use. You can see previews. You can hear the audios. Like I was vying for a scholarship, but in case everything fails, there will always be plan B. I will put the link down below so you guys can get 100 free coin credits and have the link in the discount to go ahead and read a book of your choice. Okay, we are going to jump right in. I am using primer. That way my eyeshadow color shows and it doesn't crease. I'm going to put the product list down below, but everything that I'm doing, I can um, explain in further detail or you can go back in my other videos to take a look. I really like this new way of me doing my eyeshadow because you can start kind of messy. Like you see, I'm putting on this eyeliner messy, but then I go back and smudge it out with a brush and then I will set that smudge with a powder. 
So this is a new way of me doing my eyeshadow, completely different in my past getting ready with me videos of how I do it. Again, once you smudge it out, it's kind of um, better to go back in with your transitional color and kind of blend it. And now I'm just going ahead and use this kind of shimmery eyeshadow right over the matte eyeshadow because I think this kind of smokes it out and gives it like that um, faded kind of look. So again, I know I'm going really fast, you guys, but I go in further detail in my other videos. So make sure you check it out. I'll put a link down below. But after I put on my foundation, I like to go ahead and do my concealer. You don't have to use a lot of product. You can just really use a light and steady hand to kind of move the makeup around your skin. You don't want to wipe it off. I very lightly pat my concealer down and that's how you get that complete airbrush look. Some practice you can do to get it perfect, but once you guys master patting your makeup and not moving your makeup, you will see a dramatic difference in how it looks. So of course I'm using my setting powder. I'm gonna let this bake for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and use this palette. And for this particular palette, I like to use the dark up here mixed with the lighter brown. And this is gonna be my contour. Not too much though, but remember we are trying to give most of the focus on like the eyes. So. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use contour powder, a darker color first to kind of really set my contour section, like my line, which is in the hollows of my cheek. And then I use a bronzer on top of that and go across my forehead. And then I go ahead and follow it up with some blush. I even put a little bit of blush on my nose. I just really like that rosy effect, almost like a walking filter. So of course, we're following up contour on the nose. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a sponge, which isn't on camera, but then I go back and do my highlights. The highlight should just really be on the peaks of your face. So cheekbones, your nose, the bridge of your nose, and maybe even on your cupid's arrow of your mouth. So now I want my eyes to be the main feature of this look. So I'm going to go ahead and smoke them out a little bit with black eyeliner. And then I follow over that black eyeliner with a brown eyeshadow. And then I go ahead and put a little bit more of that brown in the corners of my eye and on the top of my lid to smoke it out. Now, as you can see, I like to be a little dramatic, so I'm adding this wing liner. You don't even have to put it all over your eyelid. I know wing eyeliner is a little hard for some people to do. Just by doing that little bit on the edges, it makes a really good effect, especially when you put on your mascara and your lashes. So last but not least, we are doing lips. I am trying this new thing. I saw Beyonce do it in Ariel. He's a makeup artist on TikTok. Long story short, you just do a rounded lip liner instead of following the grooves of your lip and it gives you a more full look. So makeup does a lot. This is a cute little trick and yeah, we're on to hair. You know, I got to lay this down. I'm not using any kind of glue. I'm just using that really hard gel got to be glue because I plan on taking this wig off when I get home. So we just took off the scarf. I'm going to go ahead and just put some really big wand curls in here. Remember, we're going for sexy. We're going for sultry. And I'm going to use my wand. Everything that I show you guys today, I will link down below. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and do my hair curls. I'm only going to do like four on um, each side, maybe two on each side, two in the back. So I guess that's six because I want really big romantic curls. Okay, so we just put that last curl in our bank and it's kind of given romantic vibes. So I'm not going to shake it out yet. I'm going to do it at the very end. I'm going to go ahead and grab my earrings, my necklace, and show you guys what I had in mind for my outfit. So I have this really cute number. I have had this in my closet for so many years, y'all, but because of COVID and just the world being shut down, I have not been able to wear it. So I'm very excited to wear it tonight for date night. So it's thick. It's not going to be too hot, if that makes sense. Yes, honey, get into it, honey. We are serving body. We are serving sultry. I think Holly will be proud of you, girl. Y'all, I am so excited to show my baby what I look like. Yes, get it, girl. So that's it for date night. What do you think? You can have all the drinks upon me. You can have all the drinks on me. See the girls, they're my wine upon me. See the girls, they're my wine upon me.
Them man, them are moving calmly It's alright, you know we got the vibe it. I hope you enjoyed this getting ready with me video where I was channeling one of the characters from the book Download the app stream app or we hear app if you prefer to listen to audio I'll give you guys again the free link to the coins right down below so check that out Leave a comment if you like my outfit my hair my makeup all that good stuff I really enjoy making this content for you dolls if you enjoyed this video Give me a thumbs up share this video with a homegirl who needs to know about these sultry books or about my channel Make sure you also subscribe subscribe to this channel as well as my fitness and my blog channels I'll put those links down below and if you aren't following me on TikTok or on Instagram what are you doing my Instagram is at Chrissy the doll and I'll put my TikTok and all my other socials on the screen that's really it I want to say thank you so much for your love and support and as always stay fabulous and stay fierce